So, Marius, at last I find you. Terio, yes. Yes, now, now I recognize you. you. I should have known you'd travel in disguise. There, they're always watching. I've been searching for you for a long time, Marius. I was rather beginning to think you didn't want to be found. Oh, forgive me, Tyrion, please. It, it wasn't my fault. Not your fault? Tell me, Marius, how was it not your fault? The Wanderer. Yes, it was... It was the Wanderer. My days at the Rogue Citadel seemed so long ago. I sought refuge from my memories in the company of other outcasts. High in the mountains, past the Eastern Gate. of the monastery and the evil which it claimed brings memories I couldn't tell the difference anymore had the evil from my dreams followed me at my heels how had he found me here? How could this broken shell of a man, barely able to carry the weight of his own sword, be the burning terror which drove me to hide here? to have demons of his own he struggled to contain. <laughs> he was losing. convinced that I was truly mad. The terror, the destruction, the, the evil I witnessed. How else could I explain them? Were these the demons from my dream or were they born within the wonder?
Why did I follow him? I don't know. Why do things happen as they do in dreams? All I know is that when he beckoned, I had to follow him. And from that moment, we traveled together east. Always into the east. Oh, greetings, stranger. I'm not surprised to see your kind here. Many adventurers have traveled this way since the recent troubles began. No doubt you've heard about the tragedy that befell the town of Tristram. Well, some say that Diablo, the Lord of Terror, walks the world again. I don't know if I believe that, but a dark wanderer did travel this route a few weeks ago. It was headed east to the mountain pass guarded by the rogue monastery. Maybe it's nothing, but evil seems to have trailed in his wake. You see, shortly after the wanderer went through, the monastery's gates to the pass were closed, and strange creatures began ravaging the countryside. Until it's safer outside the camp and the gates are reopened, I'll remain here with my caravan. I hope to leave for Loot Gulane before the shadow that fell over Tristram consumes us all. If you're still alive then, I'll take you along. You should talk to Akara too. She seems to be the leader of this camp. Maybe she can tell you more. I'll gladly take you eastward. If you can drive the evil from the monastery, then the rogues may reopen the pass through the mountains. Welcome, Outlander, to our glorious hovel. I know you're here to challenge the evil that's driven us from our ancestral home. But know this, Akara may be our spiritual leader, but I command the rogues in battle. It will take more than just killing a few beasts in the wilderness to earn my trust. Before our exile, Charcy, our blacksmith, could fashion any implement of war. Here in the camp, she merely makes do. Her best tools remain within the monastery. I am Akara. High Priestess of the Sisterhood of the Sightless Eye. I welcome you, Traveler, to our camp, but I'm afraid I can offer you but poor shelter within these rickety walls. You see, our ancient Sisterhood has fallen under a strange curse. The mighty Citadel, from which we have guarded the gates to the east for generations, has been corrupted by the evil demoness Andariel. I still can't believe it. She turned many of our sister rogues against us and drove us from our ancestral home. Now the last defenders of the sisterhood are either dead or scattered throughout the wilderness. I implore you, stranger, please help us. Find a way to lift this terrible curse and we will pledge our loyalty to you for all time. There is a place of great evil in the wilderness. Kasha's rogue scouts have informed me that a cave nearby is filled with shadowy creatures and horrors from beyond the grave. I fear that these creatures are massing for an attack against our encampment. If you are sincere about helping us, find the dark labyrinth and destroy the foul beasts. May the great eye watch over you. I should add that many rogue scouts have died in that horrible place. We cannot afford to lose any more. If you choose to enter that den of evil, you must do so alone. Hi there, I'm Charcy, the blacksmith here in camp. It's good to see some strong adventurers around here. Many of our sisters fought bravely against Diablo when he first attacked the town of Tristram. 
They came back to us true veterans, bearing some really powerful items. Seems like their victory was short-lived, though. Most of them are now corrupted by Andario. Good day to you, partner. I'm Geed, and I can already tell that I'll be your best friend in this forsaken camp. A spare weapon, some gold, a small gem is all I want in exchange for the equipment you'll need on whatever quest you might undertake. No, 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 don't be shy. All of my items are guaranteed for life and come with a two-day warranty. So, this is where evil hides. Is that all of them? You have cleansed the den of evil. You've earned my trust, and may yet restore my faith in humanity. The reward is training in the skill of your choice. My rogue scouts have just reported an abomination in the monastery graveyard. Apparently, Andariel is not content to take only our living. Bloodraven, one of our finest captains in the battle against Diablo at Tristram, was also one of the first to be corrupted by Andariel. Now you'll find her in the monastery graveyard, raising our dead as zombies. We cannot abide this defilement. If you are truly our ally, you will help us destroy her. Death has done nothing to weaken Bloodraven's combat skills. If anything, she's more deadly than ever. Bloodraven fought valiantly against Diablo in the catacombs beneath Tristram. She was never quite the same afterwards. It is now obvious. She brought an evil influence back with her. Planting the dead. How odd. Good evening. When the dead return to prey upon the living, it is a terror beyond understanding. 
good evening. Akara felt something was wrong even before Andario descended upon us. She feared that Bloodraven had stumbled upon some evil force beneath Tristra. I wish we had acted then. She was once my closest friend. I pray that her tortured spirit remains banished forever. You have earned my respect, stranger, and the allegiance of the rogues. I have placed several of my best warriors at your disposal. It is clear that we are facing an evil difficult to comprehend, let alone combat. There is only one Haradrim sage, schooled in the most arcane history and lore, who could advise us. His name is Deckard Cain. You must go to Tristram and find him, my friend. I pray that he still lives. How will you find Cain without going to Tristram? Finding the Tree of Inifus is the first step on your journey. Day. Oh, very good. I have translated the runes on this scroll. You must find the cairn stones and touch them in the order that I have written.
Deckard Kane, leave this place. As a token of my gratitude, I will identify items for you at no charge. Regrettably, I could do nothing to prevent the disaster which devastated Tristram. It would appear that our greatest fears have come to pass. Diablo, the Lord of Terror, has once again been set loose upon the world. As you know, some time ago, Diablo was slain beneath Tristram. And when our hero emerged triumphant from the labyrinth beneath town, we held a grand celebration that lasted several days. Yet, as the weeks passed, our hero became increasingly aloof. He kept his distance from the rest of the townsfolk and seemed to lapse into a dark, brooding depression. I thought that perhaps his ordeal had been so disturbing that he simply could not put it out of his mind. The hero seemed more tormented every passing day. I remember he awoke many times, screaming in the night, always something about the East. One day, he simply left, and shortly thereafter, Tristram was attacked by legions of foul demons. Many were slain, and the demons left me to die in that cursed cage. I believe now that Tristram's hero was that dark wanderer who passed this way before the monastery fell. I fear even worse, my friend. I fear that Diablo has taken possession of the hero who sought to slay him. If true, Diablo will become more powerful than ever before. You must stop him, or all will be lost. When I fled the monastery, I left behind the Herodric Malice, my enchanted smithing hammer. If you can retrieve it for me, I'll use its magic to strengthen your equipment. And so it came to pass that the Countess, who once bathed in the rejuvenating blood of a hundred virgins, was buried alive. And her castle, in which so many cruel deeds took place, fell rapidly into ruin. Rising over the buried dungeons in that godforsaken wilderness, a solitary tower, like some monument to evil, is all that remains. The Countess's fortune was believed to be divided among the clergy, although some say that more remains unfound, still buried alongside the rotting skulls that bear mute witness to the inhumanity of the human creature. Smell why this tower was abandoned. Yeah! 
the stories of treasure in the tower were nothing but lies. I am glad you found something of value in that death trap. Would that our sisters had been so fortunate. for returning the Herodric Malice. I will now imbue one of your items with magical powers. It is certain that we face the demon queen, Andariel, who has corrupted the rogue sisterhood and defiled their ancestral monastery. This does not bode well for us, my friend. Ancient Horodric texts record that Andariel and the other lesser evils once overthrew the three prime evils, Diablo, Mephisto, and Baal, banishing them from hell to our world. Here they caused mankind untold anguish and suffering before they were finally bound within the Soul Stones. And Doriel's presence here could mean that the forces of Hell are once again aligned behind Diablo and his brothers. If this is true, then I fear for us all. You must kill her before the monastery becomes a permanent outpost of Hell, and the way east lost forever. death brings about renewed life for us all. We mourn the loss of our dear sisters, but at least now we can get on with our lives. I may have misjudged you, Outlander. You are a true hero, 
and testament to the noble spirit which has inspired our order for generations. Farewell, my friend. This is a great victory indeed, but many more battles await. I will accompany you on your journey, lending what assistance I can. Remember, Diablo is still out there, seeking something in the desert. I'm afraid that this nightmare will not end until you find what it is that he seeks. Greetings! Finally we may rejoice. We owe you a debt we can never repay. I only hope that in time, we will be able to rebuild our order. All our thanks go with you, my friend. The caravan is prepared. We may now journey eastward to loot Golain. Next morning, we walked over the hill toward Lut Kulain. I had no idea then of the horrors that were in store for me there. Good day. Greetings, honored traveler. I am Jaren, Lord of Lut Kulain and I bid you welcome to my fair port city. I'm glad to know that once again, caravans are free to travel through the Western Pass. For some time now, we have been under siege by an evil power that I cannot identify. 
strange. It all began when a dark wanderer came this way, looking for the tomb of Talrasha. No one knows exactly where Talrasha, keeper of Baal, is entombed, but it is certain to be far out in the desert. Now my people whisper tales of the dead rising from their tombs, and horrible creatures lurking amongst the moonlit dunes. Even I have witnessed things which I cannot explain. I've ordered the port closed and all trade ships moored until I am sure that my city is safe. Atma, the tavern keeper, has an important mission for you. Go see her immediately. You'll find her on the other side of town. Now I must return to the palace. I apologize, but I can't invite you in. Things are rather a mess right now. I don't expect this of you, but if you want to help me, I would be grateful. In the sewers below our city, Felix a horrid creature that hungers for human flesh. The creature has killed many, including my son and my husband. If you destroy it, I will reward you. Please, be careful though. That beast has taken enough from us already. The sewer entrance is through the trapdoor, just up the street. The creature makes its lair in the tunnels beneath the city. He butchered my husband and son. I simply cannot bear to talk about it. I bet you wonder how this town manages to stay safe with all the trouble going on out in the desert. Well, I can tell you that it's got nothing to do with the local town guards. They're all in the palace for some reason. Jaren hired me and my mercenaries to help keep the peace around here. We're not cheap, but we're the best this wasteland has to offer. I've personally found some of that devil's victims washed up out of the sewer. Often they are missing limbs or a head, and their bodies have always been skinned. At first, the creature raided the town at night. That's how Atma lost her family. Now we've got him barricaded in the sewers. You're safe up here on the surface, but Every now and again, some fool wants to be a hero and heads down to the waste tunnels with a pig sticker. Herodric Scroll. What a fortunate turn of events. As the last living Herodrim, I alone have knowledge of its meaning. Now, to read the Herodric runes it bears. Hmm. The Herodric Mages, after binding Baal within Talrasha, magically sealed off his burial chamber from the mortal realm. Those same mages also crafted fearsome Herodric staves and imbued them with the special power to open the chamber's hidden door. After nearly losing one to the thievery of a rogue sorcerer, they divided all the Herodric staves into two parts, wooden shaft and metal headpiece, hiding them separately to safeguard them. The Herodrum foresaw our current plight and designed the hiding places to reveal themselves to worthy heroes like you. 
Collect both parts of a Horodric staff and unite them using a Horodric cube. Then you may enter Tal Rosh's burial chamber. They say that the taste of vengeance is bittersweet, but I find it to my liking. In addition to my undying gratitude, I have spoken on your behalf with the rest of the townspeople. The merchants have agreed to show their gratitude by offering their wares and services at lower rates. Oh, Jaren wants to see you too. You'll find him in front of the palace. I have heard of your many deeds of skill and bravery. I feel I can trust you with something I have been hesitant to speak of. Drognan and I have concluded that the Dark Wanderer who passed through here recently was Diablo himself. Drognan believes that Diablo is searching the desert for the secret tomb where the great Horodric mage, Talrasha, keeps Bale imprisoned. You must find Diablo and put an end to the terrible evil that has fallen upon our city. Drognan is wise and is sure to have some helpful advice for you as to how Talrasha's tomb may be found. It may take you quite some time to find the tomb. May you be ready when you do. I am overburdened. You have quite a treasure there in that Horodric cube. According to Horodric lore, the cube can restore a Horodric staff. To do it, use the cube as you would a scroll. When the cube opens, place both pieces of the staff into it and use the cube's transmute power. You'll be pleased to know that the cube has other alchemical uses as well. Six gems plus one sword transmute into a socketed longsword. You may also transmute two quivers of crossbow bolts into one quiver of arrows, while two quivers of arrows yield one quiver of bolts. I must leave it to you to discover other formulae. Diablo nears his goal. We have little time to lose. Remember, my friend, that Andariel gave herself willingly to Diablo's cause. It would be prudent to assume that the other evils will attempt to aid their master as well. of kings. You astound me, my friend. You have discovered the shaft portion of a Herodric staff. I trust you know how to use a Herodric cube to unite the shaft with its headpiece. Searching this lengthy eclipse, and I believe it to be the work of claw vipers. Find their temple beneath the desert sands, and you may find the source of this curse.
The Viper amulet you bear is actually the headpiece of a Herodric staff. Yes, you have an uncanny knack for finding rare and valuable artifacts. Of course, you'll have to use a Herodric cube to combine the headpiece with the shaft. I've been speaking with Lord Jaren, and I sense that he is becoming more and more agitated by something. You should try to talk to him again. If he still won't take you into his confidence, seek to prove yourself a bit more. I gather that his respect for you is growing. Excellent. You have a Herodric staff. Carry it with you into Talrosh's tomb. Find within the tomb the chamber whose floor is inset with the circle of seven symbols. Place the staff into the receptacle you find there. That will open the secret passage into Talrosh's burial chamber. But be prepared for a fight. You'll likely have to kill Talrosh to destroy Bale. I've been researching the old records, trying to find the location of Tal Rasha's tomb. Though I haven't found the tomb itself, I may have a good lead for you. The great Vigerai summoner, Horazon, built his arcane sanctuary somewhere around here. He was a powerful spellcaster and kept demons as slaves within the sanctuary. He kept a close eye on great events too, such as the imprisonment of Bale within Tal Rasha's tomb. If you could find Horizon's sanctuary, I'm sure that it would hold some clue as to the tomb's location. Though I doubt Horizon is still alive, you must proceed with caution. There's no telling what could be waiting inside. When I spoke of this with Lord Jaren, he asked that I send you to him. Perhaps he knows of a secret entrance or the like. When the troubles began here, I allowed the terrified harem guilds to join me within the safety of the palace. All was fine until one night. Screams echoed up the stairwells from the harem. My guards arrived to find the poor girls being slaughtered by a merciless band of hell's spawned demons. My brave guardsmen tried to push the demons back into the mysterious rift from which they came. Ever since, my men have fought a losing battle. Demons have continued to pour through the rift into the palace. Ultimately, I hired Greys and his mercenaries to help protect the rest of my fair city. Drognan believes that the arcane sanctuary lies buried underneath this palace, since Lutgalane occupies the site of an ancient Vigerai fortress. My palace is open to you now. Take care.
seekers of the tomb of Tal Rasha will find it through the portal. But know that the glowing glyphs recorded here in my arcane sanctuary are the signs of the six false tombs. The missing seventh sign marks the tomb of Tal Rasha. Of the Haradrum, he might be called the foremost. It was a shining but brief moment for the mage clans when they set aside their differences and worked together against the common enemy. The Harandrum relentlessly pursued the three across the desolate empires of the east and even into the uncharted lands of the west, leaving the Archangel Tyrion's hands unblemished. Presuming the three to be vanquished, the Harandrum's unstable fellowship began to dissipate. Abandoning their sacred charge to safeguard the three soul stones, the disparate mage clans began to squabble amongst each other over petty differences. Their conflicts not only dissolved their brotherhood, but strengthened the evils which they had buried beneath the cold. Must move quickly now, friend, for Diablo is undoubtedly close to finding what he seeks. Find the tomb of Tal Rasha before he frees the Lord of Destruction. I hope that this false summoner found peace in death. Unfortunately, it is more likely that he will be dragged down into hell by the demons he was bound to. Let this be a lesson to you. Demonic magic is a quick path, but its powers are seductive and deadly. Who goes there? Unbelievable. The harem girls are dead? The palace guards been fighting off demons from the cellar? How could that happen without my knowledge?
but I did expect you earlier. I am the Archangel Tyrion. I came here to prevent Diablo from freeing his brother, Bane. But I have failed. Now, terror and destruction roam free throughout your world. Even now, they head towards the eastern capital of Kulast, to the very heart of the Zaharun Temple. There, they hope to find their eldest brother, Mephisto, the Lord of Hatred, who was imprisoned there ages ago. If the three prime evils unite, they will be invisible. Though it is unclear as to what their aims are, it is certain that they must be stopped at all costs. I am broken, and the energies that tie me to this world are diminishing rapidly. You must take up this quest and prevent the three brothers from reuniting. You must cross the sea and search for Diablo and Bale in Kurast. Now, hurry, mortal. Time is running out for all of us. The Archangel Tyriel was the one who gave the Soul Stones to the Herodrum 260 years ago. It is highly unusual for the forces of heaven to so directly interfere with man's destiny. But Tyriel was said to act of his own volition. We have never been able to discern why. Perhaps he goes against the consensus of heaven because he doubts our ability to defend ourselves. Or perhaps he sees more threat than his peers. Where the actions of hell often seem straightforwardly bent on destruction, the motives of heaven are unfathomable. Now make haste. Both Diablo and Bale must be stopped before they join with their brother Mephisto. If the three prime evils unite once again, the world as we know it will be no more. This is terrible news. Bale is in possession of one of mankind's most powerful mages, and the Lord of Terror guides his path. They must be stopped, for I am sure they mean to free their elder brother Mephisto, the Lord of Hatred, who lies imprisoned under the corrupted city of Kurast. I fear you are walking into a great evil, but your faith can save you. May you walk in the light always. Good day. You have done very well. Few could have come this far, let alone discover the true tomb of Talrasha. Unfortunately, I hear that Diablo and Bale have eluded your grasp. This is most unfortunate. If you wish to travel east, I have authorized Mashif to give you passage by sea. I imagine he should be very anxious to leave by now. Good luck on your quest, and thank you again for saving my beloved city. You will always be welcome in Loot Golane, my friend. This is a serious setback. It is most unfortunate that Talrasha has been consumed by Bale's destructive influence. There are many secrets known to the Haradrim which could be used by Bale against us. You must travel east by sea to Kurast and stop Diablo and Bale before they free their eldest brother, Mephisto. Of the Eastern Empire are not the same as they used to be. There's been little word for some time. Speed is of the essence. Go quickly, my friend. May the fates smile on you. Greetings. I'm Mashif, captain of this ship here. I make port runs around the Twin Seas and occasionally out to Kingsport in Westmarch. I haven't sailed anywhere lately, though. Jaren has ordered me to stay docked here in case of emergency. Jaren tells me I should take you east to Kurast. I haven't been there for several years, but rumor has it things are pretty grim.
As we worked our way down deeper and deeper into the crypt, I began to see a change in my companion. He seemed to be gaining strength. I could hardly see in the gloom, but my companion seemed to know the way. We came at last to a great hall. this ancient city anymore. I hope you brought your wits with you, for sanity is in short supply here. My name is Ratli. I am a sorcerer skilled in metalwork. It'd be a pleasure to help you. I don't have many customers these days. As you can see, the populace has been brutally decimated by the forces of Mephisto. The canals run red with blood, and demons roam the land. The wretched jungle hell has already reclaimed much of Karas. The only safety you'll find is here at the dark side, where a magical warden holds the jungle evils at bay. But I don't know how long it will last. To make matters worse, the children of Zakuru are in league with the forces of Mephisto. The Zakarum have concentrated their power in the temple city of Travancore, located within Karas deep in the jungle wilderness. It's true, their zeal is unmatched, but I say the so-called warriors of light are nothing more than the twisted puppets of a hidden hand. 
Well, I gave you my word and brought you here as promised. But by all that's still holy, I wish I'd never return to this accursed place. This fetid jungle can't be the fair Kurost I left behind. I don't know what all this evil is, my friend, but it's obvious that you must stop it. I only pray that you can before the jungle consumes the last vestiges of my beloved homeland. I've not set foot in glorious Kurast for many years, but I never would have imagined it could be so corrupted. Certainly this must be Mephisto's work. You'd best get going, my friend. Diablo and Bale are still out there, and you must find them. Never forget that your ultimate purpose here in Kurast is to destroy Mephisto. The ancient Horodrim imprisoned the Lord of Hatred inside the Guardian Tower that is located within the temple city of Travancall. Know this, friend. The only way to gain entry to Mephisto's prison is to destroy the artifact known as the Compelling Orb. Mephisto used this device to control the Zakarum priests and their followers. The orb can only be destroyed with an ancient flail imbued with the spirit of the one incorruptible priest. Soon after his imprisonment, Mephisto worked his evil corruption on the Zakarum priesthood. All were turned to his dark ways, save one, Kalim, the K. Hagen of the High Council. Mephisto directed the other council priests to slay and dismember Kalim, and then scatter his remains across the kingdom. The priest Sankakur succeeded Kalim as K. Hagen, eventually becoming the embodiment of Mephisto here on the mortal plane. The corrupted High Council fashioned an orb to control the rest of the Zakarum faithful and used their powers to hide the lair of their master from mortals. Your task is to collect the scattered relics of Kalim, his heart, his brain, and his eye. Then, using the Horodric Cube, transmute Kalim's flail with his relics. Once this is accomplished, you must destroy the compelling orb with Kalim's will to open the way into the corrupt sanctum of Mephisto. I. Only it can reveal the true path to Mephisto. Place the eye in the Herodric cube along with Kalim's other relics. The heart, the brain, and the flail.
I can't carry on. This is most fortunate. Colleen's brain knows Mephisto's weakness. Place it in the Herodric cube along with Colleen's other relics. The eye, the heart, and the flail. found Kalim's heart, and it still bears the courage to face Mephisto. Place it in the Herodric cube along with Kalim's other relics, the eye, the brain, and the flail. You have done well, my friend. Your courage and valor are an inspiration to us all. But now the time has come to face those responsible for the evil that has stifled our land. You must destroy the High Council of Zakarum. Long ago, these elders were charged with the stewardship of Mephisto, the Lord of Hatred, who was imprisoned within the Guardian Tower. Through the generations, these pious men slowly fell more and more under the sway of Mephisto's malevolent power, and the Council became an evil mockery of its former glory. It is Mephisto's hatred that has corrupted Zacharum and turned its devout followers into paranoid fanatics. That is why you must travel to the temple city of Travancal and slay the Council. Once they are gone, Mephisto's hold over this land and its people will be broken. Diablo and Bale have surely found the Temple City by now. They seek to free their brother, Mephisto, who was imprisoned by the Haradrim in the Temple's Guardian Tower. You must reach him before his brothers do, and prevent them from releasing hatred upon the world. Mephisto, along with Bale, was originally captured in the desert near Lucolain. But imprisoning two of the brothers together was far too dangerous. The Horatrum built the Guardian Tower to hold Mephisto. When Zacharum came to power in this land, they took over the Temple City without paying any heed to what was locked within the tower, and it became the doom. I sent a few of my iron wolves on a scouting mission into the jungle near the Temple City. They encountered two cloaked men who attacked them with horrifying powers. My men barely survived. I have to assume that the two strangers are Diablo and Bale. You better hurry. They're close to finding their brother.
this hall once again. Once properly imbued, Kalim's flail can destroy the compelling orb and reveal the way to Mephisto. Place it into the Herodric cube along with Kalim's relics, his heart, his brain, and his eye. Then transmute them to carry out Kalim's will. Ridding Kurast of the Council of Zakarum was essential. Still, there is more you must do. The compelling orb, too, must be destroyed. Diablo and Bale must be close to finding their brother Mephisto by now. You've no time to waste. Masterfully done, hero. You have crafted Kalim's will. Employ it to destroy the compelling orb and open the way to Mephisto. May the true light guide your way. in you was well deserved, but Diablo has made his way to hell, and it is likely that Bale followed him there. Enter the infernal gate, and kill the Lord of Terror before all is lost. Only then will our world be saved. It is you told me, Tyriel. I found the temple of the Zakarum. In the deepest recesses of the temple, I found a dark gathering. My companion, the Wanderer, Talrasha, and a great evil. 
who could only be the lord of Phaedrin himself. Mephisto. I heard a voice then, like a thousand needles in my heart. My brothers, and long as we stand reunited, the infernal way has been prepared, and the time of our final victory is at hand. Let the way to hell be opened. And evil that was once vanquished shall rise anew. Wrapped in the guise of man shall he walk amongst the innocent, and terror shall consume they that dwell upon the earth. has come for you to destroy Mephisto's soul stone. Take the stone to the Hellforge, place it upon the forge, and strike it soundly with the hammer. Only by doing this can you prevent Mephisto from manifesting in this world ever again. I have read much about the enigmatic Archangel Tyriel. He was revered in Herodrim lore, both for his compassion for mortals and his unquenchable spirit. It was rumored that he went against the wishes of heaven and gave the Herodrim the original soul stones in order to trap Diablo and his brothers. Good to see you again, hero. Mephisto's defeat is a great victory for the light. I knew that you would eventually find your way here. The Pandemonium Fortress is the last bastion of Heaven's power before the gates of the Burning Hells. This place has been hallowed by the blood of thousands of champions of the light, many of whom were mortal like yourself. Now, the final battle against the prime evils draws near. You must face it alone. I have been forbidden to aid you directly, save for a few bits of wisdom. For this is the hour of mortal man's triumph. Your triumph. May the light protect you, and the powers of heaven shine upon your path. There is a dark, tortured soul who was trapped within this forsaken realm long ago. He was called Ismol, my mortal men, 
In an ages past, he was my most trusted lieutenant. Yet against my wishes, he led an ill-fated assault upon the fiery Hellforge itself. Despite his valor and strength, Iswal was captured by the prime evils and twisted by their perverse powers. They forced him to betray his own kind and give up Heaven's most guarded secrets. He became a corrupt shadow of his former self. A fallen angel, trusted neither by Heaven nor Hell. For his transgressions, Iswal's spirit was bound within the form of a terrible creature, which was summoned from the Abyss. His man's spirit has resided within that torture husk for many ages now. It seems to me that he has suffered long enough. I implore you, hero, find his wife, release him from his cruel imprisonment. Put an end to his guilt and suffering. Though Iswal no longer carries the angelic rune blade, Azure, he may still possess great strength and power within his new form. Also, he may not be able to tell friend from foe while in his present state. If you find him, he will almost certainly be hostile. Proceed with the utmost caution. Long ago, I swore an oath to watch over the Haradrim and their descendants. As Deckard Cain is the last of their esteemed order, I will not allow him to perish here so far from the lands of his birth. Be at ease, hero. I know that he is your friend. He shall come to no harm. Yes? Tyrael has asked you to confront Iswal the Fallen? He must have great faith in your abilities. I trust you know what you're doing. Be careful. You're our last hope. Diablo and his brothers about the Soul Stones and how to corrupt them. It was I who helped the Prime Evils mastermind their own exile to your world. The plan we set in motion so long ago cannot be stopped by any mortal agency. Hell itself is poised to spill forth into your world like a tidal wave of blood and nightmares. You and all of your kind are doomed. putting Israel's tortured spirit to rest. May the light protect you and the powers of heaven shine upon your path. But if what you tell me is true, then I fear that we have been played for fools all along. Israel helped Diablo and his brothers trick me into using the soul stones against them. Now the stone's powers are corrupted. With the combined powers of the soul stones under their control, the prime evils will be able to turn the mortal world to a permanent outpost of hell.
day. Congratulations, hero. Surely even Diablo himself sensed the fury unleashed when you smashed his brother's soul stone. Proceed, hero, into Terror's lair. Know that Diablo's innermost sanctum is hidden by five seals. Only by opening each of these seals can you clear your way to the final battle. great potential in you, my friend. You've done a fantastic job. Though my ancestors often struggled against the three evils and their minions, I've always lived a shut-in scholarly life. I'm glad that my wisdom aided you. Now, I wish to leave this place. Though heaven's gates are a marvel to behold, I hope I won't have to see them again for many, many years. Please, talk to Tyriel about leaving this place now. Praise be to the light. You have accomplished the impossible. Diablo and Mephisto have been banished back into the black abyss that spawned them, and the corrupted soul stones are no more. However, while you were fighting here, Bayo remained behind in the mortal realm, building an army of hellish minions. Now Bayo's army is searching for the World Stone, the ancient source of all the Soul Stones and their power, while leaving behind a wake of destruction. 
They have forged deeply into barbarian homelands, heading directly for the summit of Mount Arya. Bale knows, mortal hero. That is the very sight of the Blessed Worldstone. Now, enter the portal I have opened for you. It will take you to the barbarian city of Haragath, the last bastion of order on the slopes of Arya. forgiven. Give it to me, Marius. Take it. Take it, take it. I'm glad this is finally over, Tyrion. Look what the stone has done to me. <laughs> You haven't failed, old man. You've done exactly as you were meant to do. However, I am not the Archangel Tyriel. Bell. No. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> you have done well. Now I think you shall have your reward. What have I done to deserve
Bail! The gates of Sacheron have stood for eons beyond remembrance, and you shall not breach them now. Remove your foul demons from our lands. We stand on the side of light. You shall not be allowed to reach Mount Ariat. And that which you seek will not be yours. Enough! Enough! I shall take your position into consideration. Your terms are not acceptable. <laughs> Good afternoon. I, Mala, welcome you to Harogoth, the last stronghold of order on Mount Ariat. You have come to the right place if you intend to defeat Bale, the Lord of Destruction. Bale has laid waste to our mountain and its denizens. His minions continue to attack our town, while Qualkeg and his men have proven helpless to stop them. Bale is still out on the mountain looking for something. But I know not what. All of the elders, save Nilathak, sacrifice themselves to place a protective ward around Horogoth. Some of us here, certainly Nilathak, do not appreciate your presence. We are a proud people, and it is not easy for us to accept aid. I, however, am glad you are here. If you need healing or a potion, please come to me. See laws look for weapons, armor, and repairs. Nilathok, despite his disposition, may be of some assistance with other wares. Finally, Qualkek, our man-at-arms, leads Harondas' remaining forces against Bale. If you're here to defeat Bale, you must prove it. As we speak, Haragoth is under siege by Bale's demons. Catapults rain death just outside the town walls. Bale himself travels up the sacred mountain, having left in charge here one of his most vicious generals, Shank the Overseer. A ruthless taskmaster, he lashes his own minions into suicidal frenzies on the battlefield. If you wish to prove yourself to us, destroy the monster Shank that commands those infernal catapults outside Haragoth. If you manage to do this, return to me. Well, well. The siege has everything in short supply, except fools. Why would you seek this place, stranger? Are you a vulture come to loot the bodies of our fallen warriors? Regardless, this is no place to make a name for yourself. The mountain is ours to protect. It is only a matter of time before Hell's legions are routed. After so many have died, who are you to think you can accomplish what our proud warriors could not? Oh, yes. I remember our warriors as children. 
Mala would set their broken bones and give them powders for their fevers. Now they return to her with wounds that will never heal. I am tired. Please, leave me. I am amazed to find this place so untouched. Everything else in the path of Baal, the Lord of Destruction, lies in ruin. These barbarians must indeed be the legendary guardians of Mount Ariat. They are a proud, hardy people. Don't expect to be greeted warmly. Strangers here rarely are. Perhaps I can gain their trust. I'll spend some time with the townsfolk and try to understand them better. I'll let you know what I discover. I believe that stopping the siege on Haragoth is the only way for you to earn the trust of these people. A druid in Haragoth. Have things truly come to this? After the Mage Wars, I assume druids would never be seen in Haragoth again. You take a big chance coming here. To be honest, I have never been comfortable with your shape-shifting kind. But I do respect your search for balance and peace. So if you trust us enough to enter our gates, I trust you enough to let you stay. I am Qualkek, the senior man-at-arms of Aragath. You have the look of a warrior. An extra soldier will be useful. But don't expect anyone to mourn if you get yourself killed. Bale is true to his namesake. He is ravaged through our lands like a merciless plague. The protective ward laid down by our lost elders helps hold the evil at bay. But Bale's siege has taken its toll all the same. Most of my men are now dead. Others are trapped in the mountain passes. But I swear we are not beaten yet. We will fight to the end to protect this mountain. About to face Shank the Overseer to stop the siege, are you? You should ask Mala to perform your last rites before you go, stranger.
My concerns have turned to my men taken prisoner on the battlefield by Bale's demons. I hate to think what's happened to them. As you journey up the mountain, keep your eyes open for my soldiers and bring them back to me if you can. You're an even greater warrior than I expected. Sorry for underestimating you. As a token of my appreciation, I will craft sockets into an item of your choosing. And from now on, you'll get the best price for all my wares. Thank you for rescuing my men. They have spoken well of your bravery in battle. Perhaps there is hope for us after all. If you wish, you may hire some of my mercenaries that you saved. And please, take this set of runes. I had been saving them for a socketed shield, but I think you'll make better use of them. Be sure to set them in the right order for their fullest effect. There is a matter which I hesitate to share, but I believe you are the only one who can help me now. Anya, the young alchemist and daughter to one of our slain elders, has been missing for some time. She is a strong, crafty woman with a spirit like no other. One night, just before your arrival, I overheard her and Nilathak arguing about her father's death. The next morning, she was gone. Nilathak has his own tale as to where she went and why. Don't believe him. I fear he's at the root of her disappearance. Please, if you can, search for Anya and bring her back to us. She'll know what to do about Nilathak. Snake Nilathok was behind Anya's disappearance, and he trapped her with a freezing curse. Here, take this potion to Anya and give it to her. That should release her. so much for bringing Anya back to us. I have devised this spell to increase your resistances as a token of my thanks. I know it isn't much, but I hope you find it helpful. 
please, go talk to Anya. She has urgent news concerning Nilathok. Good morning. You have proven yourself a true hero to me and my people. These are dark times, warrior. I hope you can bring an end to Bale's reign of destruction. Our Council of Elders is gone. My father asked among them. The one thing that keeps us from total despair is the promise of vengeance against Bale. Thank you, hero, for rescuing me. To show my personal gratitude, I give you this. I had it custom made for you by Larzak. Nilathak told me he struck a deal with Bale to protect Haragath. In exchange for the demon's mercy, the misguided fool plans to give Bale the relic of the ancients, our most holy totem. Doing so will allow Bale to enter Mount Ariat unchallenged by the ancients. I tried to stop Nilathak, but he imprisoned me in that icy tomb. Nilathak must be stopped before he stopped before he dooms the whole world. As much as I would love to strangle the life out of him, I'm afraid I haven't the strength. You must go to his lair through this portal I've opened, kill him, and then bring back the relic of the ancients. Stop Nilathak from destroying what we have striven for eons to protect. I can't carry anymore. you face. stopped Nilathok, but he didn't have the relic. He must have already given it to Bale. Now Bale will not be tested when he reaches Ariat's summit. <sighs> Damn Nilathok. <sighs> I do thank you for trying, though. Please, allow me to honor your courage by magically inscribing your name onto an item of your choosing. It's the least I can do. Every time I hear of you, warrior, your deeds become more legendary. But take heed, 
you are approaching the very summit of Mount Ariat. I have never dared venture there. It is sacred, our most holy place. The legends say it is guarded by the Ancient Ones, who block the path of all who are unworthy. Your reputation here does not matter. It will be the Ancients who determine your worthiness. Good luck. The spirits of the Nephilim, the Ancient Ones. We have been chosen to guard sacred Mount Ariad, wherein the world's stone rests. Few are worthy to stand in his presence. Fewer still can comprehend his true purpose. Before you enter, you must defeat us.
You are a worthy hero. We augment your skill and grant you entry to the interior of Mount Ariat, wherein lies the world stone. Beware, you will not be alone. Vail, the Lord of Destruction, is already inside. The Archangel Tyrael has always been our benefactor, but even he cannot help us now. For Bale blocks Tyrael's spiritual presence from entering the chamber of the world stone. Only you, mortal, have the power to defeat Bale now. Bale threatens the world stone, and through it, the mortal realm itself. You must stop him before he gains full control of the sacred stone. With it under his control, Bale could shatter the boundaries between this world and the burning hells, thus allowing the hordes of the primevals to pour forth into the mortal realm like an unstoppable tide. If you are weak, the world as you know it could be lost forever. You must not fail. Legendary Worldstone, guardian of the natural realm. My brothers will not have died in vain. Shine in a crowd, we never hesitate. Let us rise through the clouds. We got nothing to lose, I know the time is right. Let us light up the fuse. And I know, and I know, and I know, and I know we're perfect, you and I. And I don't, and I don't, and I don't, and I don't give it up without a fight. What I feel, what I feel, I know it's right. Let us start to make the night. Let us get to make tonight 
You have overcome the greatest challenge this world has ever faced and defeated the last of the Prime Leaders. However, we are too late to save the World Stone. Bale's destructive touch has corrupted it completely. Given enough time, the World Stone's energies will drain away and the barriers between the worlds will shatter. The powers of Hell will flood into this sanctuary and eradicate your people and everything you've labored to build. Therefore, I must destroy the corrupted world stone before the powers of hell take root. This act will change your world forever, with consequences even I cannot foresee. However, it is the only way to ensure mankind's survival. Go now, mortal. I have opened a portal that will lead you to safety. May the eternal light shine upon you and your descendants for what you've done this day. The continued survival of mankind is your legacy. Above all else, you have earned a rest from this endless battle.